so it happened. <coughs> a couple of days ago, I turned 50, which is quite... I don't feel it. Um, I still feel like I'm in my 30s. And I had a kid's party cake for my birthday, which was brilliant. Um, I was at home with my mum and dad and my brother and sister-in-law came round and they brought two of their three children. Their eldest was on a, a sleepover, so they brought the two youngest who are under seven. And so we had a little bit of a... We had some cake and uh, drank a couple of bottles of Prosecco, had some presents and that was it. And that's what it needs to be. I'm not a big party person anymore. Um, but it's now a couple of days later and at lunchtime today, it's still quite early today, but at lunchtime today we're, we're going out for a grown-ups meal. Um, three of us and my brother and sister-in-law were going over to a, a favourite restaurant that we go to locally. Uh, it's an Italian and we're going to have a, like a celebratory lunch. And that'll be great. And, uh, and that'll be it really. It's been nice and relaxed since I've been here. I've really settled into the routine of just being here and enjoying not having to do as much. We had a little bit of a uh, little bit of chaos the other day. My dad, who is usually incredibly careful, clicked on a spam email and opened an attachment. Um, and the next day he showed me the email he'd had and I said, this is a spam. This is such a spammy email. And he said, oh, well, I've clicked on it. And then he started getting phone calls from friends and family saying, we've had a strange email from you. Uh, is everything okay? And it was basically, um, hello, how are you? Um, could I ask for a favour? So you can see where this is going. And I think one or two people had responded to the email initially thinking it was real. And then the person has asked £450. So it's that standard scam, but it's pretty sloppy because anyone who knows my dad would know that he wouldn't send an email like that and that he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't ask for money. There's no reason for why my parents would ask for money ever. And then it became clear, I said to my dad, the first thing you should be doing is changing the password on your email. But he now can't do that because a hacker is now in his email. They have put an auto forward on his email, so he's not seeing any emails. They're going through to a faked up hotmail. They've changed one digit on his mobile number, so now he can't confirm any password changes, and they've changed his password, so he's now locked out of his account. Um, and what he didn't realise until afterwards is that just to put the icing on the cake, they wiped his address book. Um, so he's theoretically lost all his emails, but he also has an um, auto capture set up. We didn't even realise it was. So all the email addresses that he's ever emailed are captured in a, like a group um, address. So it's a little bit of a pain, but he's just got to rebuild his address book and his group chats and things like that. It's not a big deal. Anyway, so he had to call BT, who manages his email, and it took them an hour to go through with him on the phone, get his account re-secured, get everything back, etc., etc. Now, my dad, I think, has only ever once clicked on a spam email, and that was years and years ago. And um, But it goes, goes to show that something as irritating as that um, causes problems because it took a day to sort and now dad's got to rebuild his address book um, but he doesn't keep sensitive information on his emails and the emails are all still there so he's all back to normal and everything but it's a good reminder that uh, just don't click on anything you don't recognise the email that he initially clicked on was an email that came through saying you have a voicemail and nobody emails anyone saying you've got a voicemail. And it looks, it just looked really badly done. 
it looked dodgy, it was exactly what you expect from a spam email. Um, I think Dad was um, not on his guard because he'd ordered something from Amazon and was expecting an Amazon parcel and he'd had a message on his phone saying here is your code, um, click on this and he didn't because he didn't request a code so he thought that was a spam but he was confused because he did have something coming from Amazon so maybe it was genuine and then when he's going into his emails and just doing his emails and he just clicked on this email and he wasn't paying attention uh, so he won't be doing that again but these emails have been doing the rounds um, and that, yeah so that's been the excitement of the week and hopefully that'll be the end of it so it's really nice here I haven't been out and done any vlogging because the weather's been atrocious um, and today there won't be any time because we'll, we'll be sat in a restaurant eating and drinking and you can't go wrong with that um, today I think is going to be our best day for weather as well so I'm a bit short on videos but we're ticking along you know we're nearly at the end of the month when I'm recording this, it'll be April when you see this, um, and it's just nice to, to chill out. I've settled in here, I've got used to the the news and the noise and the different um, the different routines, so I'm just uh, just chilling out. It's still, as you heard from the clock, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We're not going out for lunch until like 1 o'clock, so lots of sitting around this morning. I'm just watching some YouTubes and catching up. But it's um, it's just really difficult to record at the moment. Everyone's getting ready and organised, so I found a quiet corner just to say a few things. Um, I'll try and blend this with some other stuff. Um, so my videos so far have been quite uh, quite basic. Uh, it's the usual, just like walking around the village, just enjoying nature and getting on with stuff. Um, but there will be more to come. I shall probably add something to the end of this because this isn't really getting me long enough. But it's nice to... Just nice to enjoy the silence and the comfort for a change. Um, it is very nice here, <laughs> I have to say. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I might add something to this, I might just send it out, we'll see, it depends when my next uh, opportunity is to record really, I'm trying to keep up with a locker video every other day, um, so maybe something short will be will be okay, because I've got some long ones in that I recorded before I went away, but I hope you're having a good week, spring is definitely coming, my parents have a nice garden, and you can see that nature is just doing its thing, we've got birds nesting in the garden and things are flowering and um, sprouting and all sorts of stuff so it's rather fantastic. Uh, it's just nice to be chilled out. So I hope you're having a good week and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye. So today is the only truly sunny dry day that we have while I'm down at my parents and I am I'm on garden job duties. So my parents are obsessed with their battle with the slugs and they get loads of slugs here and they have a storage box in the garden and all the slugs live inside of it so my job when I come down is to remove the box spray it out get all the slugs out remove the slugs and of course you know that as soon as I put the box back the slugs will just come back um, I don't know why they bother but it's a job they like me to do when I come down in spring, so um, this is what the box looks like. It's a big box, as you can see, and there's lots of stuff around it, and it's tucked away here. So me and Dad will carry this out, there's not much in it, we'll carry it out to the lawn, and then I can get started. Good morning. So today, I'm going to my the second of my dental appointments since I've been away. My hygienist visit was fine. I don't seem to have done any permanent damage. Today I'm going to see the actual dentist. 
see what goes on there. And then I'm meeting a friend for lunch. So we get past these roadworks. Hold on. Had a really nice birthday lunch. Got dressed up. Had a cocktail or two. It's lovely. Yesterday, me and Dad went for a look at the trees that have been allegedly coppiced. <laughs> but I'm not sure whether you would consider this coppicing. Is what it is, it's done. It's been a very quiet trip down, not been a lot going on, mostly because of the weather. We've only had one rain free day so far, and that was the day we went to the restaurant. That's okay, it's nice to sit around and laze around and just do stuff. I need to plan a few vlogs for when I get back. I need to do one about my end of March budget, end of March having now passed. And also the end of tax year have passed by the time I get home. So I'm going to do that when I get home. But I'm planning ahead so that I have plenty to do when I get back so I'm not at a loose end because going back home is always a little bit depressing. So I need to have lots of things to do and lots to focus on. And in fact I do have a thing coming up which I will tell you about after I get back. could be a money maker. We shall see. Look at the fencing at the orchard locally. They've been managing the historical orchard here. these living fences and these fences out of the coppice trees and it looks so nice many varieties of fruit have been grown and picked there throughout the year it's managed by volunteers the road works I'm going to go, I'm almost at the dentist I'll catch up with you later quick updates, I've just taken my mum to Sainsbury's we're having a far away into new types of supermarkets and she likes Sainsbury's, so that's a success. Um, what happened yesterday? Oh yeah, dentist. Um, don't need a mouth guard. He says, I'm not grinding my teeth at night. I'm clenching my jaw, I'm biting down. And I'm not doing it at night, I'm doing it all the time. So I've got to get out of that bad habit of um, just biting down. Like I do it when I'm like focused on things or and I think I'm probably doing it more than I realise and I need to stop doing it. He says if I focus and I every time I feel myself doing it, I stop. After about a month, I can get myself out of the habit. And it's been a habit I've always had. So um, no mouth guard. So my dentist didn't try and con me out of money. That's the second time he's given me advice that has meant I hadn't had to spend any money. So right up there with my private dentist. Um... And that's kind of it, really. Um, yeah, we've been out today. We've uh, got out in my car, taken mum to Sainsbury's, showed around, bought like a ton of shopping, all things that she'd normally buy either in Waitrose where they normally go. They've only got a small Waitrose because they don't have a lot of supermarkets locally where they live. Um, but Sainsbury's is kind of on their beaten track for other shops and going to visit friends. So they can pop in there a couple of times a month and have a good old stock up. And... It's quite a big store, so I think for my parents they find it quite overwhelming because the Waitrose is really small and they know where everything is and they're used to doing things the same way. 
but this gives them better range. So mum's bought some Saver stuff, like some own brand Sainsbury's, some brands that she likes to buy. So she's going to test and we're going to have a look at the shop. I scanned my Nectar card for her shopping and saved them. I think it was £8.50, which is incredible because I never do proper shops. So I'm going to look at getting them a Nectar card and then every time they go in they can scan it and they can build up their points and, you know, use it on the Christmas shop or something like they do with Waitrose. Um, so that was successful. I've helped my parents branch out. Last year they tried the Little Run and absolutely hated Little and I don't blame them because I absolutely loathe Little and Aldi. I don't find them that they save me any money. I don't like the shops. I don't like the, the, the food that they sell. They don't do brands. It's all their own stuff and it just don't like it and because I'm a yellow sticker shopper they never have the deals that I'm used to so my Morrisons gives me a ton of um, yellow sticker discounts um, and that's pretty much how I do things so Lidl and Aldi just can't compete with that um, today I got my Shopify birthday gift free 180 gram bar of Cadbury's fruit and nut which is a big family size bar so that's going to have to go into the um, emergency break glass snack bag because I need to stop eating rubbish I need to be better behaved and that's going to be my challenge for when I get back home um, after this trip is I'm going to stop grazing I'm going to start doing my lunch like my normal biggish main meal lunch but divide it up into three and graze on that through the day so I'm eating the same amount of food but it's filling my snacking desire with the same food that I would have eaten for lunch anyway and hopefully that'll mean that I'm not dipping into you know um, a bit of bread with some peanut butter on it or a bit of cake or something else that I've homemade because I've got to knock this on the head and I've just got to get into some sort of better habit uh, so that's my update. There's not much. This isn't going to be a particularly long video because um, there's just not much going on. I'm at home all the time. I'm with other people, so I can't really make videos. I don't put other people on my videos anyway. Um, and the weather's wet, so I'm not getting out and walking. The weather's been atrocious. Most days are rain, and it's like you nip out and do something in the garden, and you come back in again. So I think this is probably going to be my last um my last video before i head home because i'm going home in a couple of days from when i'm recording this and i will probably just do something as i'm driving out um as like a roundup of like i'm leaving and i'm going to be home again soon so i'm sorry this hasn't been a particularly interesting trip away the next one will be better the next one will be june july the weather will be better. My parents might be going on holiday, which means that I'll be house-sitting. We'll see what happens. But um, that's really the end of this uh, first first trip of the year, really. Um, spring is still coming, but it's really hampered my ability to do lots of different chats and things. Not much going on. But like I said, I have some stuff batched up for ideas for things that I need to talk about when I get back relating to budgets. I want to do a food audit of my cupboard because I think I've... Um, probably miscounted a few things so I need to get up to date with that so I'll take you on a ride for my um, my pantry in my special cupboard so that'll be fun but uh, I think that's it for this one so I hope you've had a good couple of weeks whatever you've been up to and I will probably see you well I will see you back in the car as I'm leaving here in a couple of days time but I will also see you on the flip side back oop in the north